The big hiccup for marijuana research is that it remains a Schedule I drug, and a bill unveiled today in Washington would change that, among other things. The measure has roots here in western New York. News 4's Jen Schant shows us which local team helped draft it. Jen? Jackie, the Dent Cannabis Clinic was tapped by lawmakers in Washington to help craft a bill that aims to make marijuana more accessible and also hopes to garnish support from both sides of the aisle, which hasn't always been an easy feat on the marijuana front. The Path to Marijuana Reform Act, sponsored by Senator Ron Wyden, a Democrat from Oregon, is a series of three measures. One would give cannabis companies a shot at tax breaks, which currently they're they're not eligible for due to the Schedule I label of marijuana. That's under the Controlled Substances Act. The measure would also protect doctors and patients from being prosecuted under federal law if, in fact, marijuana is legal in their state. Secondly, the legislation would get rid of the current Schedule I title. The measure would also relax banking regulations for cannabis companies. The goal there is to make them more legitimate. In the Senate, it's going to be Senator Wyden and Senator Rand Paul advancing the bill. In the House, we have a Republican from Florida, and we have uh, Earl Blumenauer from, from Oregon, who's a Democrat, advancing this bill. And we view it as uh, something that can appeal to, to bipartisan support. Um, there's tax revenue implications, which are positive. There's um, research implications, which are positive, and small business implications, which would seem to attract GOP support across the board. This bill, which again pertains to both medical and recreational marijuana, is just a draft at this point. It was made public today. The Dent team says regardless of whether it passes or not, this starts an important conversation they feel will move the medical, the marijuana movement in general forward. Live in the studio tonight, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.